Hi everyone. We're going to determine which conic is it. Uh, again, you should already uh, know have a fundamental understanding of conics. So now we're in the section where we have to determine what it is. Basics, basically, I have uh, the two squares here. So this is, uh, and these coefficients are different. So that's what you're looking at is your x squared and your y squared. Since the plus, these are both positive, this is going to be, um, this is positive. This is going to be an ellipse. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of put this in the ellipse form, elliptical form. And I'm going to factor out a 5 here. Since my x's are kind of already together and my y's are uh, together, actually, I'm going to move the 40 over. So we're going to factor out the 5. We're going to get x squared minus 2x plus, I'm going to go ahead and put a box here, plus 9y squared equals 40. And then I have to add this uh, 5 times the box. Because remember, we're adding 5 times this. So if you add that to the left side of the equation, you have to add it to the right side of the equation. So let's complete the square. Half of 2 or half of um, negative 2, take half of it and square it and you get 1. So basically what we get is 5 times x minus half of 2 is 1 squared plus 9y squared equals 45. Now, remember we have to have a 1 here, so we're going to divide everything by 45. And you're going to get x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1. It basically has the form x minus h squared over uh, a squared. A, this is the bigger number, plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. All right? And uh, let me write it on the next page. So we have, again, x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1. Right away, we know our center is going to be um, 1, comma, 0. So H is a 0 there. And then I'm going to fill out, uh, find my C. Remember, it's A squared minus B squared equals C squared. I'll just do a little box here. So A squared is always your bigger number, which is 9. B squared is 5, and C squared, therefore, would be 4, because 9 minus 5 is 4. Therefore, A equals plus or minus 3. B equals uh, plus or minus root th 5. Should have left more room. B equals plus or minus root 5, square root of 5. And C equals plus or minus... Uh, 2. All right, and then you fill everything out. Your center we have is 1, 0. The foci is on the larger numbers, which is on the x. So my foci, whoops, my foci is going to be 1, plus your C, comma, 0, and 1 minus C plus your 0. So this equals 3, comma, 0, and negative 1, comma, 0. Okay? And then we also have for the vertices, um, the vertices we have, you're going to have 1, 
plus your a comma zero and one minus three comma zero so that's going to be four comma zero and negative two comma zero for that and then we have to do the y part so your other vertices you copy down the one and you get zero plus root five which is just square root of five and one zero minus root five was negative root five and then we'll talk about the length of the major well let's do that here and then we'll draw it the length of the major axis is two a so two times three is six and the length of the minor axis is two b which is uh, two times the square root of five all right, so we're going to try to draw this. I'm going to have, um, you might want to write that down. So basically, um, I'm going to go ahead and write the equation down again. We have x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1. So my center is 1, 0, which is here. Now, on my x, what I'm going to do, you can either look at your table here and do it this way, or look at all this information here. But what I'm going to do here is just look at my x here. The square root of 9 is 3, so I'm going to go over 3, 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to go over 3 here, 1, 2, 3. Now, uh, for my y, the square root of 5, that's a little bigger than 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going to go a little bigger than 2. Go up on the y and go down on the y. Now I'm going to connect this. kind of looks like a circle. Your foci is um, on the the larger number so the larger number so that means it's on the x and the foci was uh, plus or minus two so from here your center here you're going over two here and over two here so basically you have four vertices and you have your foci and you have your center right here. And that's all. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.